Welcome everybody and welcome to a new video. In this video I'll show you what Lion brings to us in this very lucky day. Now I downloaded Lion today and uh, it was, I'll tell you it was, there's some points are good, some points are annoying because you're a new user. But don't get me wrong, it's very nice software. Now the first thing you might notice, or you might not, is the bar above here is a little bit grayish or gray, more to gray than before. Now I won't notice that by changing uh, backgrounds, so if you change backgrounds you'll notice that it's more gray than white. Uh, going down in the dock, you'll see that new icon appears. Launchpad. Launchpad is basically just the same interface as iPad, iPods, iPod Touch, of course, and iPhones. So you click on it, you'll see that it's the same interface. As you can see, you can wiggle, you can you have widgets, uh, sorry, apps, and by clicking on them, keep clicking on them, they will wiggle and you have the option to move them around. Some of them even have the X button, which delete buttons for uh, just like the iPad. The things that you download from the App Store has this X button on above. You have another way is just as the iPad, you can make folders by holding items and putting them above each other and you have a folder or a file. Oops. Ah, uh, okay. So I enabled hot corners and by clicking, by going, hovering, by hovering over the right down corner, I get launcher. So you can do that by just going to system preferences and um, I guess it was expose or things, something like that, and you can change. Going to, let's see, something different. It's the mail, of course, you can see the mail has totally changed it looks just same as the ipad now and the, uh, the ipad in landscape now you can of course hide this and it would be perfectly as the ipad shown now and of course the icons up there are different you have uh, trash uh, junk reply and forward and etc you have the flag the flag is a new thing and of course we never forget the full page view or the full view for the mail. Now by two fingers swap to the right or the left you will have the screen, the original screen you were in. Now going you want to close the full page, just hover up and click again and you're back to the main page. Now you might notice, going back, you might notice these icons are different right now. Look at them, they are like really printed in. Before Snow Leopard, it was just like over printed. But these are like, they are, they are made inside, how do you say it? It's like a 3D model. It's a very nice touch. Now going to Safari. Now I've noticed things in Safari. Okay. I've noticed things in Safari. If you clicked Control uh, or Command Q, means you're shutting down everything. For example, we opened Apple website. And my home page, let me show you, my home page is YouTube, okay? And we have an uh, Apple, and we closed it from scratch. It's closed. And when you open it again, it's back to Apple. Whether if you closed it from the X above there, and you open it again, it's back to home page. Now, there is a different. I played with the system because I don't like the idea that resume, you know, of course, resume. I don't like the idea that resume will reopen what she launched yesterday because sometimes I just want to be a fresh start or clean start with my browser. So, what I did is I went to system preferences, and from system preferences, I went to general. And after that, you see these things over here. You have the option to make them 5, 10 is number of recent items. For example, 5 web page. I have last last 5 web page you want to open them. Or remind the laptop you've opened them. You got applications, documents, servers. Now, I've ordered none. So when I close it from the X, not from scratch, from the X, it will be closed and returned to the main page. Whether than I command Q, I close it, I don't know how um, I can fix that. Now, also this has a uh, full screen view, 
and hovering back you see the new icon which is the glasses the glasses is the reading list which if you have like a magazine or newspaper that you always be want to be updated to you just put it in your reading list and it will turn I think it will notify you if anything new happens now uh, I didn't I don't think I mentioned that before I'm recording with QuickTime because ScreenFlow does not work with Lion don't try it I wasted my time trying with Lion with the uh, ScreenFlow it did not work so I'm using QuickTime the other thing is scrolling when you update when you update to uh, Lion it will show you a small scrolling thing showing you that uh, if you scrolled up you're basically going down if you scroll down you're basically going up. So it's a little bit different, it's not the usual scroll that we used to use. And uh, so these little bit things are just uh, different. Now, uh, and by the way, the resume is only for Safari, nothing else. Now going to calendar, calendar's whole new interface is different. And uh, it, it really looks uh, just like iPad, and of course you have the screen, the full screen view. Now, before one tip, before after, sorry, you download Lion, make sure that you update. Go to software update, software update, and update so your your iTunes and uh, other programs will be updated, so you can use the full screen and other applications. Uh, app stores, iTunes, which is different right now. Look, it's in screen, full screen view. Uh, of course, you can just close it because I, when I closed it, like Control Q, it was in screen, full screen mode, so it's still on full screen mode, which is I don't like. Um, of course, Pages, Pages right now is also on full screen. So if you open Pages, um, you'll see that it also has a full page view of it. So if you close it, like you have like. Um, a demo uh, thingy or something. Of course, I don't like the idea that it is when you close it by Control Q, it just resumes. I want to solve this problem. It's a bit annoying, but I don't. Now the other thing is that when you want to delete something, like more than a thing, for example, um, no, 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 close those. What the hell? For example, new folder. Anyway, I want to delete these two. When you grab them, you have this small number appeared and you go to the crash. Now, a diff another thing is, uh, let's go, is AirDrop. AirDrop, I don't have a Mac near me right now, but you know it's AirDrop. It's like pair-to-pair -pair, uh, transforming files, so if you're both not in the same, I think, I believe it's in the same network, I'm not really sure, you can transfer files through wireless there was an application that did the same, but I don't remember the name. Now the thing is different uh, with the design or interface. Okay, so uh, over here is the icon has been changed the design. It's it's it, it was colorful. I like the colorful uh, one, but you know this is uh, a little bit proish thinky, looky. Of course, also you have um, also the preview. It has a full uh, view. So it's a, it's a little bit photo. It has a full view of it. So if you want to close it, just hover over there and go to small mode and close it. Now that's all for today's video. There's hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of application new features in our iOS Lion. Make sure to go to apple.com, put the link in the description to see what new features and what you can do with these things. Play around with the lion, make sure you download it, it's worth the money. See you in my next video, make sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, comment, rate, subscribe, and see or subscribe to our new blog to know uh, if you have a problem, we'll be happy to assist you in less than 10 hours and uh, make sure you will follow us also on our blog because we post all new news and updates about apple windows androids anything you want so see you in my next in my next video and peace